Hi, I'm Bonnie Frogner, and I have the privilege this year as serving as president of the Griffin Area Arts Alliance. Our members of the Alliance, all the organizations, want to thank you for your patronage. This year, the Arts Alliance realized the goal to present our first scholarship to a graduating senior. We are grateful that this scholarship has been endowed by the Nora and Gail Gooden Art Collection. In the coming years, we hope to be able to present at least two more so that a deserving student from Spalding, Butts, and Lamar counties can all receive a scholarship. Anyone interested in assisting with this opportunity can contact the Griffin Area Arts Alliance through our website, which is www.griffinareaartsalliance.org, or you can contact a member organization. Also this year, we have partnered with the Flint River Regional Library for their Big Read project. And please join us for our Art, Heart for the Arts in the spring. It is our celebration of all the arts in our community and the many talented artists and volunteers that continue to bring you the finest in entertainment. Thank you for stopping by our booth in this virtual Chamber of Commerce Business Expo. Thanks, Bonnie. I'm Lori Bush. I'm with Camelot Theater Company. And Camelot is a volunteer-run community theater that has been in Griffin since 1998. Um, we specialize in family-friendly musicals and children's productions. Our current home is at the Griffin Spalding School Systems Enrichment Center near Southern Crescent Tech. Um, this year, we've been working on the Broadway version of Disney's Beauty and the Beast, which we plan to present um, in December 11th through 13th. Uh, next up is the youth cast uh, production of Frozen, Disney's Frozen, which will be at the Griffin Auditorium, uh, February 5th through 7th. Um, in April, we plan to be back at the Arrangement Center stage with the classic Who Done It Clue. And we are a nonprofit 501c3. We gratefully accept shows, scholarships, and donations. And we uh, would love for you to check us out on our website at camelottheater.com or on our Facebook page. Um, if you go there, you can find up to date. Um, information about auditions and shows. Thanks. I'm Debbie Hammond with the Griffin Area Arts Alliance and the Griffin Area Concert Association. I've been treasurer for many years for both organizations. Um, the Griffin Area Concert Association has agonized for the last two or three months trying to put together a uh, season for the 2020-2021 years. Um, we have um, canceled our programs during 2020. We're hoping to have the Tara Winds uh, Jazz Ensemble in March of 2021 and then a group called the Everly Set uh, based on the Everly Brothers music in um, May of 2021. We have been in Griffin bringing live music at the auditorium for about 60, more than 60 years here. And um, this has been a challenge this year, but we're looking forward to seeing all of you in the spring. Um, just check our website for updates. Hi there, I'm Norma Richardson. I'm the Artistic Director of Main Street Players. And I'm excited to tell you just a little bit about our theater if you are not familiar with us. We are a small professional theater located downtown. And I'd like to tell you that that location was chosen specifically for uh, our 120 seat theater so that we could hopefully be part of the revitalization of our lovely historic downtown. And I'm thrilled to say that over the past almost 20 years now, we've been responsible for bringing about 40,000 people into the area. Our shows uh, run the gamut from comedies to dramas to musicals to theater for young audiences. And over the last uh, hmm, almost 20 years now, we've presented over 100 different productions, exceeding 1,000 performances, and also have done original shows. Uh, we have a terrific board of directors headed by Donnie Beale and invaluable volunteers. and. I'm un it's unfortunate that we won't have any shows this year in 2020 because of COVID, but we are so excited about lighting up the theater again in 2021 to celebrate our 20th anniversary. Hope to see you there.
And can we just mention also that because of COVID, a lot of the organizations just are not able to have some performances this year. So please be sure and check their websites. Each of them have a website that will keep you up to date, such as the Griffin Ballet Theater and the Concert Association and our Performing Arts with Camelot and, uh, and Main Street. All right, Ms. Carolyn. I'm Carolyn Bird, president of the Griffin Spalding County Art Association. On behalf of the Art Association, I would like to invite you to stop by the Welcome Center and walk through the Art Gallery, located in the foyer and hall areas. Original paintings, prints, gourd art, and wood carvings are on display and for sale. If you're looking for a piece of art for your home or office, or just a time to get away, please stop by.